it stays a 99, giving me unlimited monies. Anyways, guys. Hello everybody, it's me, GameJacker from HackerBad.net and today I'm going to show you how to use cheat tables to hack PC games using Cheat Engine. This is a very simple process. All you need is, of course, a PC, a game. We're going to use The Binding of Isaac for demonstration purposes right here and you need Cheat Engine. If you don't want to use the installer for Cheat Engine, uh, or if it shows as malicious software, let me assure you the software is clean, but it tends to change your search engine, which is why it is gets detected by a lot of antiviruses as potentially unwanted software. If you want an installation that doesn't require you to go through the installer, go to hackerbot.net, scroll down, and you will find the icon for Cheat Engine, and you simply download it from there, so that way you skip the unwanted software part. Anyways, so how does it work? Again, you need your game, you need chain Cheat Engine running. Cheat Engine does require administrator uh, privileges in order to run. After you've started Cheat Engine, of course, make sure you have your cheat table available. We're going to get into where to get legitimate ones later. So what you're going to want to do is click the PC icon that, uh, that's encircled in red and green at the upper left corner. That way you can connect to the process of the game in order to modify it. So usually the name of the process that you're going to select will be the same name as the cheat table in most cases. So Isaac NG in this case, Isaac NG is over here. It will also have the icon of the game as you know it from your start icon, for example. So let's just open that or double click it. All right, we are now connected to the game. That means if we enable speed hacks or whatever, um, that will work for the game. As you can see, speed hack zero works. Let's put it back to normal and disable the speed hack and now I can get out of the menu. There we go. So we are now connected. That's how you test if you're connected. After that, you simply drag and drop the cheat table down here into the options tab. Um, yes, whatever, it doesn't matter whether you go for yes or no. All right, here we have our scripts. Now, this is the good stuff. This is where you activate the actual cheats. So as you can see, in this particular cheat table, we have player structure. We will open up all of our stats, or for example, our health. Right now, it's at 16. So every red heart that we have will be two of these. If we just set this to, I don't know, something ridiculous, 50 and 50. Let's see what happens. And yeah, we got more red hearts, as you can see. We have now pretty much unlimited health. Now with these pointers, as they are called, they point to a statistic in the game. You can uh, edit them by simply double clicking the number right here, set it to whatever you want. You can also freeze them. So if I freeze my red hearts, they will stay at 50 no matter what. Also, we can modify our coins here. Let's just set those to 99 and our bombs 99 as well and our keys 99 as well uh, just double click the zero value and change it you can also right click and um, change record value that's it does the same thing basically i just usually double click it all right uh, we can then activate the um, box right left or to the left to those options to those pointers as they're called in order to freeze the value and as you can see if i go back into the game i use a bomb to bomb myself and I take no damage and I don't lose any bombs. Usually this would spend a bomb, but since I've frozen the value, it stays a 99, giving me unlimited monies. Anyways, guys, so that is how that works. Then there will sometimes also be options, just like trainer options, such as God mode. The way those work is you simply activate them, okay? While pointers, if you activate the box to the left, will freeze the value with options, pre-scripted options, if you see the script on the value, this will simply activate them, okay? Now, in some cases, some of these options may not work, maybe none of them work. That means you need to download another cheat table that works for the current version of your game because a lot of these cheat tables that you will find are outdated so they will work partially in the case of AOBs or not at all in the case of more simply programmed cheat tables. However, it's still the best option when it comes to cheating in PC games by far as well. Um, back in the day, we had to download EXE trainers and you never knew, is it a virus? Is it an actual trainer? What is it gonna do? Uh, with cheat tables, you are pretty much safe for malware 
because the software that you're using is Cheat Engine, which is 100% clean. If you download it either from hackerbot.net or cheatengine.org, please don't download it anywhere else. You never know what you're gonna get. So this is basically how it works. As you can see, we have unlimited money, unlimited health, um, and there are many, many other options to, ch to choose from in this particular cheat table. Now, how do you find legitimate cheat tables? So the way I would do it, um, is simply go to I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily use um, Google if you just Google for it uh, you never know what you're gonna get go to hackerbot.net simply Google hackerbot or game hacks game hacks go to hackerbot.net then scroll down to find free cheats this is our search engine for legitimate and clean cheats which only allows legitimate providers with a clean track record and no malware or scams into the search engine. So what you're going to do is, uh, for example, uh, the binding of, um, of Isaac um, and then whatever um, rebirth cheat table. Okay, it's important that you have the the cheat table at the end. Spelling mistakes included, of course, as always, but Google always knows. There you go. So for example, here you can find most of the legitimate ones are from Fearless Revolution, but there are also other websites, cheating websites that provide legitimate ones, um, such as Unknown Cheats or other cheating websites, Unknown Cheats, as you can see here as well. Anyway, so that is how you find them. Um, usually there will be many, many cheat tables in the thread. So what will happen is the original creator will post a cheat table um, such as in this case, where's the downloads here? You can just download them. You don't need to log in anything, but you, sometimes these are outdated or maybe they don't work for your, your version of the game. You might have to download an older one or what's also useful is just go forward in the thread, um, move forward a few pages and you will, you will usually find more downloads. And if one doesn't work for you, try another one. So this guy uploaded another one. Simply try them, download them, try them, try them, try them, unless, um, until you find one where uh, it actually works for your version of the game. And then you can, down, you can use them that way. Um, you can also import uh, multiple cheat tables into your, um, your, your options menu right here. You simply have to, um, when the dialect prompt comes up that, that asks you if you want to merge the two tables, and you say yes, and you can activate multiple cheat tables all at once. You can try multiple at once. Um, also important to note, sometimes, for example, in this case with the Binding of Isaac, if I activate um, these options, then disconnect, then um, you know, close cheat engine and try to do it again, it won't work the second time because the cheat table has modified the game in such a way that it can't activate the cheats again, okay? So sometimes you have to restart the game after trying a cheat table uh, in order for the next one to work. That's just a little bit of an advanced tidbit. Of course, you can enable speed hacks in cheat engine and make the game slower, faster. So 1.0 would be no speed hack, 0.5 would be half speed, two would be double speed. So let's just go in there. And as you can see, I, actually in this game, it doesn't seem to work, let's see. It works in most games. Now in this particular one, it doesn't, but it works on like 80% of games. The speed hack will absolutely work. Anyways, guys, that is how to use cheat tables, how to find legitimate ones. If you wanna learn more about cheating in video games in particular, go to hackerbot.net, simply Google hackerbot or game hacks, hackerbot. Uh, go to hackerbot.net, go to learn cheating. You'll find articles on money hacks and why they won't work in online games, fake cheats that you will find a lot on Google, um, uh, general guides on server and client side hacking and so on for all your game cheating needs. Of course, we also have all the downloads. If you go to hackerbot.net, the main page, uh, download hackerbot APK if you're on Android. Um, we also have our popular game section all the tools for Android and iOS. The best ones are, of course, HackerBot APK for Android. Game Guardian is basically the cheat engine for Android, also very, very much recommended. Then um, I, uh, Game Jam. Game Jam is very good for iOS. Anyways, guys, that is basically it. These are the cheat engines, um, Game Guardian and Game Jam, and then, of course, the actual cheat engine. Those are the best cheating softwares and memory editors at the moment 
Anyways, guys, that is it from me. Please like the video if you've learned anything. Subscribe to join the HackerBot army. And I will see you guys next time. Game Jacker out!